Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to destroy the fabric of reality using the stupid suggestions that people put inside of the suggestion box at work. It's suggestion box. More stupid suggestions, damn it. In suggestion box, you play a young employee with the power of God at his fingertips. Because jackasses Ooh. like to put stupid things in the suggestion box. But at Oberon, we're not just screwing around. With the power of the green check mark or the red X, we can actually make these things become reality. When you do stupid things in the game, the reality of the entire planet changes. I'm not gonna lie, if my occupation was drill sergeant and my first name was Pip, I might change it. Honestly, I can't really see how virtual pizza could ruin the world, so what the hell, let's go ahead and stamp it. World-renowned food critic dies attempting to eat virtual pizza half. <laughs> oh, I was wrong. And thus, you can immediately see how bad things go when even the dumbest suggestion is heated. Honestly, I'm okay with this. No one liked Fry Giannorio anyway. Beloved TV personality and food critic tragically died while recording his hit show, Probably Food, earlier today. The cause of his sudden death has been attributed to his insistence on attempting to eat Oberon's latest app. Apparently, you, the game doesn't stop you from doing this as much as possible. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna read the rest of this article. Fran Bon from my home state of New Jersey with an occupation of water boy. Make computers dumber so they don't outsmart humans. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to know what happens in a world where the computers start outsmarting humans. Nine times out of ten, we get turned into human batteries. The other one time out of ten, I have a feeling that we get used for our meat and our skin gets turned into couches. All right, human meat couches, go! Oh, I don't get an article? From now on, I'm approving everything! Francis Gumbo. He's a physical therapist. Skater Dud 37, Jesus. He says, you should make my dog CFO. He's a good boy, I promise. I can't see how this would ruin the world in any way. Oberon invests millions in kibble. Ruffles, a lapdog turned CFO currently working for Oberon, announced earlier today the company's bold plans for a multi-million dollar stockpile in kibble and kibble byproducts. Hold on, what? Although it is unsure what Oberon plans to do with such a stockpile, Ruffles soothed shareholders woes by performing a backflip mid-conference. Out of this entire article, the one thing that I want to know is how did Ruffles make this announcement? He's already doing backflips, can he also talk? Peter Walker over here is a karate teacher, which is something we need desperately over at Oberon. See, the thing about Oberon is that since all of our suggestions come to life across the entire globe, most of our employees end up getting, you know, accosted on the way home. These people have to learn how to defend themselves. The suggestion is a device that smells fear. This already exists. It's called Alexa, and she's now in every room of my house. I think that I just turned her on when I said her name. <laughs> all right, Alexa 2.0, here we go. Horror movies now market using Oberon fear ratings. Spooky Goblin House 5, the latest in the horror film series, has employed a fresh new technique to market itself to the public. By using Oberon's fear detector on test audiences, the film can scientifically prove its high fear factor. I was just about to say how this didn't really th seem that bad, and then I realized that the next suggestion is force ghosts to file my taxes. Where are we getting these ghosts from? How are we forcing them? Is forcing a ghost to do something illegal? I feel like it's not. Charles, you might be onto something. We don't have to pay for health benefits because they're already dead. Ghostly labor leaves thousands changing wills after Oberon released its latest invention, a device which harnesses the spirits of the dead so that they may file the taxes of the living. Thousands have rushed to file anti-spiritual labor forms prohibiting the harnessing of their spiritual energy after death for any busy work. Damn it, while I was talking, Alexa let out a little chime in the background just to let me know she's watching me. Kellen Albert from Casper, Wyoming says, please give me a job. He doesn't really say what job he wants. It's gonna be the guy revising all the wills of the damned Wyoming delivery man named new senior executive. 
Kellen Albert, a 25-year-old delivery man living in a small city in Wyoming, has been named the senior executive of Oberon earlier today. Despite the fact that his only experience in the world of business is this one time when he talked to a grocery store manager about the pears he bought smelling funny. Biff Bradley wants instant noodles that actually ready instantly. You're not alone, Biff. I've been waiting for this for years. Three minutes is the best we get right now. I have a feeling that when I stamp this, I'm going to destroy like 10,000 jobs. Never mind, I'm going to shatter the space-time continuum. What a fool I was! Oberon, attempting to get its foot into the food industry, released a brand of instant noodles that claims to be done in nanoseconds. When Oberon allowed reporters to test the product out, the noodles instead vanished into thin air, sending vibrations that could be felt worldwide. <laughs> the noodles probably gained sentience. They probably went back in time and they're going to turn human beings into the food. I like how the intern that did this was the report bot 4000. <laughs> Jim Von Wiesen is a tour guide, and he says make computers emit gamma radiation. They don't already? Isn't this what made the Hulk the Hulk? Our company is going to be a team of Hulks that harness the power of the dead to file taxes while eating instant noodles that vaporize. Oh yeah, and we're run by a dog that can do backflips. This company's amazing! Oberon Computer vaporizes many unfortunate customers. Death tolls are in the hundreds as customers attempt to power on their new Oberon computers, only to find they now emit gamma rays so intense they actually vaporize the unfortunate buyers. Oh, you can just barely see the rest of this as Oberon attorney Dan Stark states that the company clearly advertised this as a feature and therefore, damn it, therefore what I want to see the rest. The suggestion is fish brain computer. That's the suggestion. Let's see what your fish brain computer can do for the company. What happened? I guess the fish brain computer was so powerful that it destroyed the entire game. On a side note though, I finally get to make computers dumber so they don't outsmart humans. Oberon phones begin to auto post about politics. Wait a minute. After the mandatory anti-singularity update, Oberon phones across the nation have been secretly accessing their users' social medias and venting about their apparent new interest in national politics. I don't really know if this made computers dumber or if it just made them more annoying. Frank Jones from Massachusetts wants a robot that reads for you. I'm kind of curious exactly how this is implemented because we already have audiobooks, which is basically a person on a device that reads for you. But is this like, instead of me getting to experience the book, I will force a robot to do so in my stead? What's the point? What does it even do? What does it just give me like a synopsis of the book? Average amount of books read per adult skyrockets. After the release of Oberon's newest product, the auto reader, the average amount of books read per American adult yearly skyrocketed from two to three to 67,342. <laughs> With the amount of people setting their auto reader to maximum speed 24 seven, Americans can now finally appear informed without actually having to read. <laughs> Damn it, I've been lied to since the report bot 4000 wrote this, I actually ended up reading it. Can I borrow 10 bucks? I promise I'll pay you back. There is no student that will pay that back. Also, this isn't a suggestion, it's just a request. What kind of article would this be? Oberon donates $10 to a man who wants to buy a sub. Alexander Jonathan, a middle-class New York college student, received a small yet substantial donation of $10 from Oberon in order to buy a sub from a sandwich shop Jonathan has always wanted to visit, but could tragically never afford under his parents' strict allowance. This article doesn't answer the real question. Did I ever get my $10 back? Suggestion, use eggs instead of cardboard boxes for shipping. This is just going to make putting an Ikea desk together that much worse because it's going to come in like 40,000 eggs instead of one box. Alan, you're a genius, let's do it. Oberon's new eggshell packaging shatters instantly. Oberon can expect thousands of dollars of losses due to shipments breaking from the new and incredibly fragile egg packaging that both looks like and possesses the density of an actual chicken egg. I didn't realize like a blacksmith making a sword out of metal, we were actually making the boxes out of eggshells. I thought we were just going to somehow force things inside of eggs and then send them that way. Fake license maker? Like driving license? Like hunting license? 
doctor's license? Government cracks down on Oberon's license maker. Oberon, in one of its more misguided endeavors, has released a device with the sole purpose of creating your own license, which is almost definitely illegal. Fry Danforth says file a lawsuit. Sure. Oberon unable to provide reason for billion dollar lawsuit. On the first day of a massive lawsuit Oberon filed against competitor Synergetics Incorporated, Oberon lawyer Dan Stark found himself unable to answer the judge's opening question about the purpose of the lawsuit. The purpose is it came from the suggestion box. I don't know why this is so difficult. I also just noticed the best thing about this entire article. The writer is Galactar138. How did Galactar get a job for the Silicon Observer? Smartphone for cats. Uh... Cats ignore phones and humans that bought them. The newest Oberon phone, the first specifically designed for cats, was initially met with praise from cat lovers nationwide, but as cat owners began to bring these phones home, they came to the realization that no product will change the fact that cats will never particularly care for their owners. It's true. I bought my cat a cat bed and put it next to a toilet seat cover that I had to take off because I had to change the toilet and the toilet seat cover didn't fit the new toilet and instead of sleeping inside of the cat bed, the goddamn cat slept in the toilet seat cover. Hire more clowns. The thing I like most about this suggestion is how it doesn't say at all what the clowns are supposed to be doing. I guess there's only one way to find out. Oberon hires 50 clowns as senior software designers, of course. Oberon, in a rather odd business decision, has decided to double its software engineering department. But instead of hiring experienced professionals, they have instead hired birthday party clowns. The vast majority of which whom have little to no actual programming experience. I still don't regret my decision, at least we're making people happy. Start a pyramid scheme. He's a fish salesman. Oberon attempts to market pyramid scheme. Called Oberon Pyramid Scheme. Oberon proved itself to be both overly transparent and sketchy as the company earlier announced today the Oberon Pyramid Scheme, a name that, just as the title implies, is the textbook definition of a pyramid scheme. I like how things that I think would destroy the world just do nothing and things that I think do nothing end up destroying the world. Throw money at your customers. I have a feeling that the company is going to hate this and the customers are going to love this. Oberon literally throws bags of money at passersby. In the most patronizing and blunt marketing scheme in decades, Oberon representatives were seen throwing bags of money out from their company headquarters, creating a rather large crowd. The money may have led to riots minutes later, but besides that, recent polls have indicated that the stunt created a dramatic what? A dramatic increase in Starbucks sales, I would assume. Force customers to listen to the terms of service in its entirety before startup. Yes! Oberon products crippled by painfully long startup. The startup once only elongated by needless downloads of useless software have been transformed into an entire odyssey for new Oberon buyers who now have to endure hours of listening to the dull legal babble that is the typical terms of service. <laughs> the thing that scares me is this is probably going to come to pass one day. Eventually some software will be like, bitch, you can't just scroll to the bottom of the terms of service. I want to hear you repeat it out loud. Fish to English translator. Please let me click on this and not have the game end. Yes! Fish finds nudes job. Fish happy. Fish very happy. It's written by the fish. Fish can talk to human now. This make fish happy. Very happy. Now fish can write. Fish write good. Very good. Fish heard journalists water gates. Fish good at watering gates. Very good. Fish get paid very well for watering gates. So many brown pellets. Very okay tasting. Fish understand that he must write certain amount of human words. Fish running out of good ones. Fish very scared. <laughs> the suggestion is just cut to the chase and file for bankruptcy already. Yes. <laughs> and that ends the game. Well. I think that we made the world a better place. I got a high score of 300, but I don't know what the hell any of the points mean anyway. Anyway, folks, 
Hope you enjoy having your dead ancestors do your taxes for you. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.